one o'clock last night, um, uh, working, just in bed, and um, got to one, it's probably uh, about half six now, and I used to think, oh, you've got to take it easy, you to take, you know, don't push yourself, you get burnt out, you do this and that, but you know, I finished at eight last night, and I spent two hours going to see an old friend, and had a good chat, and just a bit of downtime, I genuinely love being busy. I love pushing, I love working, um, and I love trying to see how far we can push this. And now we're going for a nice little walk with Jesse. We're going walkies. Where are we going? Walkies. Ah! Where are we going? Where are we going? Walkies. Oh, 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 oh. Solid morning. Got the uh, got the whole day off, so planning to use pretty much every minute of it um, to get some stuff, get loads done. To be honest, and that was a great walk, great way to start the day. Uh, listen to podcasts, doing live feeds for my coaching groups. Um, feel pretty much set up for the day. It's time for breakfast and coffee. So, I think I decided to put this on because um, I think it's important to see uh, I think it's important to I think it's important to vlog this you know and not just put up all the really cool stuff that goes on and um, I, I'm definitely still uh, <clears throat> trying to move on from um, times when I left the Marines and uh, you know <clears throat> the person that maybe I was back then and all the all the stuff that um, I, I just would look back at now and think God you are so and um, you know I was I you know I, Definitely suffered with depression, I think, for a couple of years. When I left the Marines, I was totally lost. Um, and um, I, was, I wasn't um, a very good husband. I wasn't a very good dad. And I, you know, I just have to get that out. And I get these, um, these pangs of where I need to write. And um, I think one of the things that I'm trying to... One of the things that I'm trying to do is get that down to help other people that were in the same position as me um, back then. But when I write about it, when I write about it, literally all the emotion comes up and I think this is some real soul searching. And every time I just get those urges, I just, I can't explain it. You get it here and I just have to get in front of a computer and write down how I feel and I guess when I, start writing that down that comes up and it comes out of me and I guess I'm just trying to cleanse the body of those days and I know I'm not that person anymore but it was a real tough two years it was a real tough two years and even longer before that you know I just wasn't me definitely wasn't me um, and I definitely feel ashamed of, of that and I, I think that's why I probably cry 
and I just I've just got to get out and and I just I debated whether I was going to put this up and do this but I think this is just real life and this is real me and this is what it's about where's the superstar oh god he was so good where is he Digby here he is is he going to be on the Grand Norton show he's going to be he's been in London Walking around London. Yeah, and the train, his first time on the train. <laughs> Look, Jesse wants some love. And he did exactly what they wanted him to did do. Did he? Yeah. Do you think he'd be on there? So, looking for duvet covers for Christmas for the children. Trying to make it a little bit special this year. Nothing like leaving it to the last minute, as soon as I haven't done any shopping whatsoever yet. Let's take a look through here. Just two. Yay! Look who's here! <laughs> it's Matthew! Careful, oh, Dickie! Stupid dog, look! Dickie! Come on. Come in there. So Matt's come around for a cuppa. We're gonna have a cup of chant and a biscuit. A biscuit. Ching-chings. Okay.